Now, you had a brief time at Stratford, do you not, with Tyrone Guthrie? And yes, I, I quit CBC in, in, in uh, 54 because I was terrified of getting stuck behind a desk for the rest of my life. I could see the, well, I mean, I, I, it just had to be. I knew that Griffiths was going to leave and be pushed up into another job, and they made me for a time assistant program director. Uh, and obviously I was to be promoted to program director and so on, but it would have been a desk job for the rest of my life. Right. Oh, no. right. And at the same time, Guthrie, uh, with whom I'd been connected during the first year of Stratford, because it, it was through my mother that his interest was obtained in coming. And uh, Guthrie had, be, had been wanting me to come down to Stratford, and I said, well, I'd, I really would like to come because I want to learn to direct in, a, in a, a proper professional atmosphere. And he said, well, I think you better come as an actor. That's the best way of getting into it. And so I, I did. I went down to play Petruccio in The uh, Shrew. And uh, there, was, uh, there was no f discussion about the treatment. And uh, there was no read through. So Barbara Chilcott and I, she was she was playing Kate, had no idea really of what approach they were taking. He just he just got us up on his feet and said, "Now do read the quarrel scene." <laughs> we didn't know what it was it, we were doing, but it was particularly obvious uh, with me. And then um, a couple of weeks into rehearsal, I was fortunate enough to fall off the stage onto a garbage can and break two ribs. <laughs> settled it. And so Bill Needles replaced me uh, in that role, though I went on to play uh, in uh, Measure for Measure Old Aeschylus, who was allowed to be slow of movement. <laughs> and what did you make of Tyrone Guthrie? Oh, fabulous man. Fabulous. Tall? Short? Oh, very tall. 6'4". Six 6'4". Four. Six four. Irish? Yeah. Anglo-Irish? No. Um, Scottish, Irish, Anglo. Uh, the kind director, uh, the Guthrie authoritative is, the director. The Guthrie is Scottish, you know. Tyrone is an Irish name. Right. Guthrie is a Scottish name. But he'd had all his training, of course, in Britain. And you found him a uh, compassionate director, a dictatorial director, a intellectual director, what kind of director? All three. <laughs> closer to John Hirsch or closer to I never worked with Hirsch as a director so I can't say but uh, Guthrie had a kind of uh, huge risk taking sense uh, let's try it what would happen if mm -hmm. and, uh, and the way he'd go uh, he could be quite merciless um, uh, at times, but uh, uh, not not really destructive of uh, people. Um, the one he was toughest with was James Mason, who was who was the star that season, and whom I got to know very well. Um, and uh, Mason's wife, Pamela. Uh, hated everything to do with Stratford, the small town, the churches, the lousy liquor stores, the, everything about it. Um, and she was always trying to uh, persuade uh, James to get out of it, get, get the hell going. On the dress rehearsal, and this was in the tent when our dressing rooms could still hear each other over the top, so to speak. Um, she came in at the, at the, at the dress rehearsal <laughs> and, at, at, in the intermission and said, well, I'll, I've, I've had all of this I can take. <laughs> and left. But I had great respect for him. Right. Now, But you... Guthrie, Guthrie was famously tough on, uh, on Mason. Right. And it, uh, I can remember after the dress rehearsal, I think, he said at one time uh, to Mason, in front of the whole crew, no lowered voice or anything, he said, 
Don't you realize that you're pulling the chain before you've done the job? <laughs> Not a bad phrase. My gosh. <laughs>